welcome back. This is Bobby Scuba with more bonus episodes of Let's Play Bastion. I'm joined as always by the kid. Rux is still here with us. Z is over there somewhere, but she's not nearly as important right now. We are going to be going through the abilities. This will be the ability showcase after I, I, I play with the outhouse a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be showing off as many abilities as I can. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the ones that are not weapon specific and then we will go through the weapon specific ones after that. So we're going to start with Trapper Snare and I'll be doing these all in uh, who knows where just because it's probably going to be the easiest for me to do that way. So Trapper Snare is coming. All right, Trapper Snare. We have the perfect guy for that. There we go. We trapped that guy. Pretty simple. Used uh, best on big enemies. Fair to say he's lit a hard life. Next up, we have Mirror Shield. Counter blocks all oncoming attacks for a short period of time. Sounds good to me. Okay, I have a good number of enemies here. Let's go ahead and use it. And uh, it, it counters for a little while just automatically counters everything coming my way, which is kind of nice, but as you can see, for, for something like this guy, it doesn't really work. So I have to go back to my normal weapons. Pass, catches up with the Next up we have a sneaky decoy. Makes me invisible, which is always appreciated. Reminds me of Team Fortress 2 Spy, to be honest with you. Once again, we have a large group of enemies chasing me. Some of them have already died, but put down a decoy. And then, well, as soon as I fire, I get back into view for him. But still, it's kind of cool. Up with Next up is my personal favorite, Hand Grenade. It does exactly what you think it would do. You throw a grenade, and it blows up and kills a lot of things, usually. Another big group of enemies here. Let's throw a grenade at them. Boom. I want to hit the squirts, though. Ah, uh, I, got, I got a few of them. There, right there. Come on. Ah, uh, too far. Too far. But I do love me my grenade. Next up is the trip mine. We did see this when we first got it. Pretty much it puts down a, a little mine that creates a booby trap. But we're not affected by it, so it's awesome. Same set of enemies, but this time we can blow them up. Oh, that did a lot of spread. More than I had imagined. But it doesn't do that much damage as you can see there. Still takes me a little bit to kill these guys. Now it's time for the squirt lure. Once again something that we saw when we went through the game normally uh, but it will summon a squirt companion to our side. Apparently I could do this at birthday parties and people will be impressed by me. Got some enemies on me. Drop a squirt. Go squirt. Do damage for me squirts. How much damage are, are they gonna do? They, holy crap, they kicked its ass. All three of them are still going. They defeated all the enemies for me. Well, these guys are going to take forever for them to chase, so I'll just kill them. But still, that was more than I expected. Next up, we have the gel canister. It's a viscous substance of unknown origin, origin contained in a scientific misspelled apparatus. Let's just smash it open and see what happens. Actually, this one is so strange that people want to talk about the gel canister. Let's see what Rux has to say about this. Some things just ain't meant for this world, but who are we to judge? I'm not exactly sure what they're going for here. What do you have to say about this, Zia? Go on, open it, she says. The worst that can happen already did. No right? way. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh my god, there it is! It's the sentry turret! How you doing? Chromatic data overflow. Oh, I had no idea this was here. Oh, that that makes me happy. Got some gas fellows on your tail! Turret! Go! Turret! Are you gonna shoot it? Did I shoot it the wrong way? Go turret, go like there. Oh, there! Nice! So it sets up like a little laser. Nice! Oh, that is awesome, but kind of Man, a pain to use. That is it for the abilities that do use, well, no specific weapons. So now it's time to start using the ones that do use specific weapons. First up, we have Stunning Wallop. I did get this one for completing the Proving Ground, uh, because Whirlwind, of course, we got very early on in the game. 
but it should stun anything that gets in my path. Sounds good to me. Okay, got the gas fellas chasing me. Stunning wallop. <laughs> Just pretty much spreads all around. That is sweet. The path. Next up is Whirlwind, the first skill that we ever got in the game. Should be fun to use once again. Alright, let's see if I can get a few of these guys lined up. Oh, that was sweet. Next up is Bolt Burst. Fires bolts in every direction. Sounds good to me. They'll home for me, I think. I think it carries. We'll, we'll double check that when we get there. Once again, a decent amount of enemies as that guy kills everybody. Jeez, Bolt Burst. It does home. Nice. Pass catches up. Having these fully upgraded really does help with the skills as well. Alright, next up we have Snooze Dart. Uh, yeah, it'll put things to sleep when I hit it. S simple enough. Alright, let's start putting things to sleep. Does it... it only worked like for the one? It's not working for him. Alright, let's... is there somebody else I need to kill here? Sweet! So, not only did that not work very well, seems like I have glitched the game. Hooray! Things are going well! So that didn't work out so well, but that... Well, it's not that great of a, a, a skill if you ask me the, the snooze dart. But, we are on now to the breaker volley, the breaker's bow skill. Pretty much, it lets you fire many, many arrows at once. Sounds good to me. Go breaker's volley! That didn't last very long. That's not that great. Yes, what? With a kid. It is becoming pretty clear that some of these skills are better than others. Next up we have Dancing Shot. It'll cause an arrow to bounce from target to target, as you can see in the little picture there. I have seen this done, like, on TV as a trick. It's actually pretty cool, but I don't know how effective it would be in battle. Let's find out. Okay, arrow, dance for me! Wow! That was effective. Let's say that again. Well, that didn't have anywhere to bounce. And once again, I've killed everything, but the game refuses to acknowledge that. Hooray! That was pretty nice, though. Now it's time for the War Machete skills. First, we have Graver Slash, Lightning Fast... 19... Wow, Lightning Fast Flurry of Strikes. Cut through even the toughest armor. That's what Machete actually needs. It needs to cut through armor. Got the same group of enemies here. Let's go! What? Do it again. That was very, very quick. So this is something that you obviously have to use on a big boss. Uh, but that's going to be tough for me. Yeah. And it can miss if you're pointing the wrong way. Well, these skills are disappointing me. What do you want me to say? Now you can die too. Next up we have... Ghost Blade, a secret technique that slices through everything in its path. I assume it just goes right through when I throw it. Let's see if I can line things up for this. Okay, I think I got them lined up. Go, Ghost Blade! Damn! <laughs> I got them pretty well lined up. Ah, oh, but that was sweet. Look how much we went through there. Moving on to the musket skills, we have Scrap Salvo. Relentless series of blasts that overcompensates for the musket's slow rate of fire. That sounds awesome with how upgraded my musket already is. Let's see what it can do for me. Wow. Pass catches up with a you know, I was going to count how many shots it actually did, but I lost track. I don't know, 10 to 15 shots? That's ridiculous. That might be my new favorite skill, to be honest with you. Okay, now it's time for final warning. Shoots things straight up into the air, and then they fall down on the enemy. Sounds very nice, considering how good Scrap Salvo was for me. I said, get off my lawn! <laughs> that has quite a spread on it. Not as much as I was hoping, but it does have spread. You can see it kind of goes everywhere, but you kind of luck out yeah, if you hit something or not. Kid. Next up are the Dueling Pistols skills. First up we have Dual Decider. One single shot that should do a ton of damage. Let me see if I can find a windbag for this. Look what I found! Die! Oh, 196. Fair to say. He's Next we have the Slinger Storm. Although I must say with the Dual Decider, I was expecting a lot more damage than that. Sure, we killed him, but I don't know. 
Felt like the number was low. It, it did the job, though. Slinger Storm, rapid fire. Pretty much just, just rapid fire with the bullet. Sounds, sounds exactly like what I want. Go, Slinger Storm! Whoa! Go again! I do have to aim still, though, so that's... That. And it doesn't even kill that guy! I gotta use my musket to finish him off! Next up are the P Brusher's Pike skills, uh, but I guess the, the, the last one. You can't, you can't always judge an ability by its cover, by its little description. Uh, so, with that in mind, let's look at Brusher Sweep, a uh, polearm technique which out which lashes out at all foes in the vicinity, shoving them away. So, kind of just sounds like something I do to, to get distance. We'll see what it actually does, though. Okay, got a good number of enemies once again. Sweep! Doesn't do that much damage. Really doesn't do... Okay, that did a little bit there. Catches up with the Next up is Pike Vault, dexterous trick with which the wielder leaps into the sky to crash down on unsuspecting foes. So it's pretty much a dragoon's jump. Sounds good! I got my enemies. Let's jump at them! I can angle it a little bit while I'm in the air. Let's, let's do that again. There, and then boom. But there's a, there's a distance max. There, there's a cap to that. So yeah, I can barely move. Pretty good though, pretty good. Moving on to the army carbine skills. First up we have Trigger Blitz, which says it's a single shot. Even though a blitz kind of implies multiple shots, it definitely says only a single shot. Good number of enemies and single shot! It did poison him a little bit it looks like. Let's try it again. Uh, and I have to aim right at him. Can I hold shift and do it? Yeah, I can hold shift and do it, and there you go! What do you want me to say? Doesn't do that much. Let's finish him off. Next up we have Cruel and Unusual Punishment. We have the Breaching Bullet, a special bullet that lodges inside the target and explodes shortly thereafter. Just like Alien! Alright, got myself a big target. Let's see if I can put a bullet in him in three, two, one, burst! Nice! Once again, I believe the red damage is underscored, I guess you could say, because it definitely did more damage than, than 170 or whatever it was. But, moving on, we do have Fire Bellow skills to go over. We have first, Burning Carousel. I'll, I'll be spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. Let's see what spinning does for me! It does quite a bit, actually. Yeah, catches up with a kid. I must admit that was pretty nice, but probably not enough for me to start using the fire bellows regularly. Next up we have Ring of Fire. It sounds pretty similar, but it will be an expanding wall of flame instead of just spinning around me. Sounds good for distance. Got a few enemies, let's fall into the burning ring of fire. Yeah. Yeah. The pass catches up. Meh is the best I could say for that. It was it was decent, but Meh. Next up we have Galleon Mortar Skills. We have a Turret Surprise up first. Splits open on impact to reveal a security turret hardwired to defend me. That sounds pretty good. Got a lot of enemies. Looks like I need some help. It doesn't... How is it doing? It does alright. I put it in the wrong spot, but you know, I didn't know where it was going to go. Can, can it take it out by itself? Uh, no, I think my turret disappeared. They killed my turret! Go there, then. I have to hold Q just like the other thing. Hey! It looks like I got a fancier one. I got one that fires multiple rounds this time. You gonna shoot? Is he not in range for you? There we go. Start doing some damage on him. There we go. While that was innovative, I think that... The bomb barrage is probably going to be the better of the galleon mortar skills. Pretty much several shells at once. That's what I'm looking for. Got my enemies already. Let's launch. It does okay. Right there. Like four, but it doesn't spread as much as I was hoping for. Really. It does okay though. 
And finally, it is time to take on the Calamity Cannon skills. First up, we have Calamity Rockets. This is what you get when you beat the Proving Ground, and I know because I've done it several times now. Devastating technique that overcharges the reactor, sending a flurry of rockets out. That sounds perfect. Go, multiple rockets! Holy crap! That was good! Sure, they didn't do as much damage individually as a normal Calamity Cannon shot, but that was that was quite effective. Uh, last but not least, we do have the Manser Missile, an experimental misspelled ordinance that breaks into a cluster of explosives on impact, spreading destruction. Also sounds good. All right, got the cannon. Spread for me. And those don't hurt me. Very nice. Yes, us up. And that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Bastion. The abilities, skills, showcase. Some of them were really good. Some of them were also very disappointing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.